federally qualified community health centers serve as a model for the healthcare delivery system. It's patient-centric, community-based, cost-effective, and holistic. Traced back to the turn of the 20th century with infant milk stations in New York, the first district health center was established in Lower Manhattan in 1914. By December 1965, the concept became a national movement with the opening of the first community health center in Dorchester, Massachusetts, outside of Boston. Through the years, these health centers have come to serve each community's unique population by providing services that are culturally sensitive and in the language that the patient speaks. More than a clinic, our health centers are immersed in the community. We are a neighbor, a family member, a friend. This level of deep understanding of the community enables us to provide more efficient and cost-effective care regardless of race, culture, language, or ability to pay. From cradle to grave, community health centers provide comprehensive care, ensuring the well-being of our communities. We provide medical, mental, and dental care, pharmacy, job training, and civic engagement, education, translation, and transportation services. We are always on the front lines during disasters. Here in New Orleans, we've had Hurricane Katrina and the BP oil spill, an earthquake in California, and even a volcano eruption in Hawaii. Our study at UCSF and Stanford showed that community health centers provide as good, if not better, care on a standard set of performance metrics. Other researchers have shown that patients who have their usual source of care at community health centers have lower rates of preventable emergency room visits and preventable hospitalizations than other similar patients, which means they're a critical part of our safety net system because they provide care that patients would otherwise not receive. My mother and I came to the United States in the early 1950s. She spoke no English. So at age six, I was translating and interpreting her medical conditions to her doctors. I understand now how important a federally qualified health clinic is in serving patients in their own language. So please join me in supporting this critical element of the American healthcare system. Thank you.